everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you 100 beautiful DIY decor ideas. We've done it guys, we have reached 100,000 subscribers here on my channel and I am so thrilled, I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I asked you a little while ago what you wanted me to film in celebration of this milestone and the majority of you said you wanted to see 100 farmhouse DIY decor ideas. So I started compiling all of my favorite DIY decor ideas that I've done on my blog and here on the channel. I came up with 100 but they're just general, they're not all farmhouse which I thought would be okay because not everybody loves farmhouse decor. So I want to share those with you today. Just so this video isn't two hours long, I'm just going to to show you a photo or a video of the idea and describe it in a couple sentences and then I'm going to list all of them in the description box below with a link to every single tutorial. You can also go to the DIYMommy.com. I will put the URL that links to all of these projects right here. I have a lot to say about this 100,000 subscriber mark. Uh, so I'm going to leave that to the end of this video. So if you want to hear what I have to say about that, make sure to watch the end of this video. So without further ado, let me share with you 100 beautiful DIY decor ideas. Number one is a buttoned pillow cover. This is a classic pillow design that's really simple to sew and I still use this method. Number two, a granny square blanket. I made this when my daughters were small and we still use it. It's a great heirloom craft. Number three, cutlery tray jewelry holder. This is a great way to organize your jewelry and it's really simple and inexpensive to make. Number four, painting fan blades. This is a great hack when you want your fan to match your decor on a budget. Number five, board and batten hook wall. I love board and batten and this hook wall has been so useful for our family. Number six, TP play tent. One of the most popular DIYs on my blog and I have the entire pattern and instructions on there for free. Number seven, grommet top drapes. This is a great way to sew drapes if you're a beginning seamstress. Number eight, fabric peonies and roses. Another one of my most popular tutorials and these are a fantastic wedding craft or a spring decor craft. Number nine, budget gallery wall. Putting together a cohesive but unique gallery wall is so much fun and I have all the tips on my blog. Number 10, modern artwork from thrift store canvas. This is an excellent way to create inexpensive art for your home. You simply paint right over a thrifted piece. 11, book page wreath. One of my first YouTube videos, this is such a sweet looking wreath for hardly any money. Number 12, old door countertop. This is an excellent hack if you want to have an interesting laundry room countertop. 13, ironing board cover. This is a simple thing to sew and a great way to coordinate your ironing board with your decor. 14, beadboard hook wall. I love hook walls and this project is fantastic for organizing a kid's bathroom or an entry. Number 15, spring floral wreath. This wreath is so cute and easy to make and I love the addition of the little cloth banner. 16, faux cowhide rug. If you don't want or can't afford a real cowhide rug, make one out of fabric. It is so easy. 17, giant framed pegboard. Pegboards are a great way to organize and I put this one in our laundry room. Number 18, easy cafe curtains. This is another simple sewing project and these would be beautiful in a laundry room or over a kitchen sink. 19, vintage cane chair makeover. These chairs were an inexpensive Kijiji find and I painted them and my mom reupholstered them to give them a beautiful update. Number 20, fairy garden. My girls and I love to create and play with fairy gardens. These are a wonderful family project. 21. Faux Mercury Glass Vase Use an old pickle jar and some mirror spray paint to create a beautiful vintage look vase. 22. Fitted Keyboard Skirt I took some fabric and ribbon and sewed a skirt from my keyboard stand to make it suit my decor. 23. Perfect Chalkboard Art This hack shows you how to create perfect looking chalkboard art even if you aren't the best at handwriting. 24. Outdoor drop cloth drapes. These drapes were very inexpensive and so easy to make to create privacy on our porch. Number 25. DIY porch columns. Beefing up your porch columns can be easy and inexpensive with some plywood and paint. 26. DIY foraged natural wreath. This wreath was essentially free because I used clippings from my yard and some twine. Number 27. No sew faux fur Christmas tree skirt. If you don't like to sew, this Christmas tree skirt is the perfect DIY project. Simply find some faux fur and cut it to size. 28. Arm knit blanket. 
This one is one of my favorite decor DIYs. I still use my arm knit blankets everywhere in my home. 29, wire mesh baskets. It's easy to make wire baskets for any awkward size with some fencing and pliers. 30, old door message center. Take an antique door, some hooks and some baskets and create an adorable command center for your home. 31, mason jar hanging craft storage. Old mason jars and pipe clamps can create a really handy storage system. I made this one for my craft room. 32, campaign dresser inspired filing cabinet. If you have a dated plain filing cabinet, you can spruce it up with hardware and paint and make it look stylish and new. 33, easy throw pillow cover. This is my easiest pillow cover tutorial and they are so quick to make. 34, realistic fabric peonies with stems. This is a twist on my original fabric flower tutorial. It's fuller and it also has a stem. 35, giant reclaimed wood clock. Use the top of an old electrical wire spool to make a beautiful oversized clock with paint stencils. Number 36, wall shelf from a cutlery tray. Here's another cutlery tray hack. Paint one and turn it into a shelf for your child's collectibles. 37, thrifted shabby chic gallery wall. Paint thrifted picture frames with chalk paint and use free printable art to create a romantic gallery wall. 38, how to paint furniture with chalk style paint. I have a great DIY chalk style paint recipe and I share how to update furniture with paint in three hours or less. 39, faux galvanized planter. Turn a new galvanized container into one that looks like it's an antique with an easy paint technique. Number 40, lace decoupaged vases. Plain vases can be turned into something special with lace trim and Mod Podge. 41. Painted Rock Garden Markers. Paint rocks with acrylic paint and seal them to create beautiful and unique garden markers. 42. No Sew Throw Blanket. Soft minky fabric doesn't fray, so you can cut it to size and create a fringe for an easy no sew throw blanket. 43. Easy Duvet Cover Trick. If you turn a duvet cover inside out and roll it with your duvet, you can put them together like magic. 44. No sew fabric covered blackout shade. Some fabric and a glue gun are all that's needed to turn a plain blackout shade into something that matches your decor. 45. DIY Roman shade. This is a great DIY if you're a beginning seamstress and want to create a beautiful traditional covering for your window. 46. How to hang wallpaper. I share all of my tips and tricks on how to hang wallpaper like a pro. I love wallpaper. Number 47. DIY map art. Use an old canvas, a vintage map, paint, and Mod Podge to create beautiful, customizable art. 48. Salvaged Farm Junk Wreath. I found an antique tire rim and created a unique fall wreath. 49. No Sew Table Runner. You don't have to sew to create a beautiful table runner out of fabric, just use hem tape. 50. Faux Floral and Leaf Table Garland. Tying some faux greenery and flowers to twine makes a beautiful garland for fall. Number 51. Pillow from a Scarf. This simple tying hack creates an easy pillow cover from a scarf for any season. 52. How to hang art straight. This hack is an easy way to hang art that will sit straight on your wall, no level required. 53. Shabby chic drop cloth rag wreath. Inexpensive painter's drop cloth fabric can be ripped into strips and applied to a wreath form for gorgeous shabby chic decor. Number 54. How to install a barn door. A barn door is a beautiful DIY that can add interest to your home and it's not that hard to install. 55. No sew pillow cover. Here's another DIY hack with hem tape to create a simple no sewing required pillow cover. Number 56. No sew ruffled drop cloth tree skirt. This beautiful Christmas accessory doesn't require any sewing to make, only drop cloth and a glue gun. 57. Faux fur pillow. If you love the look and feel of faux fur, I'm sharing all of my tips on how to cut and sew it to create a beautiful pillow cover. 58. How to caulk trim. Caulking the trim in your home makes it look finished and professional, and I have a few easy tips to make it look good. 59. Simple monogram wreath. Use a Cricut machine and some ribbon to add some personalized embellishments to a store-bought wreath to make it look special. Number 60. Dress up storage bookcase hack. Adding a clothing rod to a bookcase turns it into an adorable spot to store dress up clothes in your child's room. 61. Felt pennant batter. This cute banner is made of felt and bias tape. So easy to make and really, really cute in a kid's bedroom decoration. 62. T-shirt yarn rug. Use old t-shirts or knit fabric to create chunky yarn to make this easy crochet rug. 63. Boho wall hanging. 
A thrift store doily turns into a bohemian wall hanging with the addition of a fringe, a driftwood hanger, and some faux flowers. 64. Magnolia wreath. Glue some faux magnolia leaves to a grapevine wreath to create this iconic farmhouse decor accessory. 65. DIY chalk paint. I have a great recipe for DIY chalk cell paint that can transform any type of furniture in a stamp. 66. Hidden tab drapes. These drapes are easy and quick to sew and feature a tab at the back made out of wide ribbon. 67. DIY board and batten feature wall. I love the look of board and batten trim and I share how to install it and finish it to make your home look customized and beautiful. 68. DIY kids table makeover. An inexpensive kids table set gets a designer makeover with paint, wallpaper, and sealant. 69. Paint dipped succulent planter. Turn an old log into a planter for your succulents with painter's tape and paint. Number 70, floral coasters. These coasters are made with wood slices and the flowers are made with an inkjet printer and transparency film. Number 71, rustic log bench. Use barnwood and old logs to create a really easy free bench for your outdoor decor. 72, under the stairs pantry. Turn the unused space under your stairs into a pantry with shelving and a DIY barn door. 73. Recycled Tire Ottoman A tire becomes an ottoman with sizable rope and a glue gun. This is such a simple but impactful DIY. 74. DIY Outdoor Sofa This outdoor couch is easier than it looks to make and all you need are 2x4 pieces of wood. 75. Fairy Garden Wreath This unique wreath is made out of a tin tray, small accessories, and some faux flowers all in a boxwood wreath. 76. Macrame Table Runner Learn how to make this gorgeous table runner with clothesline and a few basic macrame dot knots. 77. Let's get cozy pillow. Use a Cricut machine, my free file, and some iron-on vinyl to make this cozy looking pillow for your home. 78. Budget nightstand makeover. Paint and elbow grease can transform thrifted nightstands into beautiful pieces that blend in with your decor. 79. Understairs dog nook. Another take on an understairs nook, turn it into a mini retreat for your pet with a DIY bed, handmade wall organizer, and more cozy accessories. 80. Shiplap Sign Use wood and a stencil to create a beautiful custom sign with a farmhouse look. 81. How to put ribbon on a Christmas tree I'm sharing all of my tricks on how to decorate a Christmas tree with ribbon and make it look romantic and beautiful. 82. DIY Outdoor Christmas Planters Turn your fall mom planters into festive Christmas planters with this easy tutorial. Number 83, soft macrame pillow. This pillow is made of a giant fluffy yarn and a few basic macrame knots and is so soft and cozy. 84, upcycled mason jar cozies. An old sweater becomes adorable wraps for mason jars that you can fill with gifts or decor items for Christmas. Number 85, real ever evergreen wreaths. This method of wreath making was passed down from my great grandpa who was a gardener in Germany. 86. How to paint doors. My mom and I share tips on how to achieve a smooth pit finish when painting interior doors with a paint sprayer. Number 87. DIY real and faux floral arrangement. Combining real and fake flowers and greenery is a great way to create a full flower arrangement on a budget. 88. Simple romantic wreath. A heart grapevine wreath and faux flowers create a romantic wreath that's perfect for Valentine's Day or any day of the year. Number 89. How to hem and hang drapes. I have a sneaky way to hem drapes while keeping them on the rod and not even touching a sewing machine. 90. Chunky Crochet Heart Banner This adorable banner is a great beginner's crochet project and it uses chunky yarn so it works up really fast. 91. Hello Mat Turn a plain outdoor mat into something more personalized with some paint and a stencil. 92. Dining Bench from Kitchen Cabinets I use some IKEA fridge cabinets and trim to make a built-in bench for my breakfast nook. 93. Chunky Crochet Chair Pads Another easy crochet project, these cushy chair pads are really quick and simple to make. 94. How to Paint Tile Floors If you have old tile, a fun way to update it is with a stencil, some paint, and a lot of elbow grease to create a beautiful new look. 95. Macrame Boho Light Fixture Inexpensive string, large embroidery hoops, and fairy lights create this unique boho-styled macrame chandelier. 96. French Country Floral Wreath some DIY faux peonies and other faux flowers are used to embellish a store-bought faux boxwood wreath and give it a spring makeover. 97. Palette Potting Bench Old wood and paint turns into a beautiful potting bench with the addition of an antique window. 
98 piped and zippered pillow cover. This is my favorite pillow cover method. It's a little trickier than the others, but it looks so professional. Number 99, DIY French Vintage Basket. Turn an orange colored wicker basket into something that looks like it was found at a French country market with paint and wax. And finally, number 100, how to install laminate flooring. Installing new flooring in your home is a wonderful way to give it a huge update and laminate might be easier than you think to install. I share all of my tips in this tutorial. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below if you made it through all of those 100. If you did, let me know which one was your favorite. So now I just wanna say thank you again for subscribing to my channel, for helping all of us collectively reach this 100,000 mark. I like to think of this channel as an us, not a me, because this is a community I feel that we've built. It's a me, you know, sharing with you DIY ideas and decor inspiration, but it's also us talking in the comments, letting, getting to know each other in the comment section below, getting to know each other through the DIY and decor challenges that I put on every couple months. And I think it's just been such an amazing way to meet all of you and for us to share this common love of making things and decorating things and just kind of exploring our creative side, whether you're a mom, whether you're a dad, whether you are, 12 years old, whether you are 65 years old, I love how this has created a community of all of us creatives to get to know each other and to share inspiration with each other. When I first started this channel, I was shaky, nervous, I am a shy introvert, <laughs> didn't know what I was doing, didn't even want to show my face on camera, I mumbled. I don't think I have the raw talent for video, to be honest, but with every video that I've done, the more videos that I do, I think the better that I get. I think each video is better than the last. Um, I'll leave a link to my first video in the description box below and you'll see what I mean. I think if you're in the same boat, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a YouTube channel or anything that you're starting, uh, even if you don't feel like you have those raw innate skills, I think with practice, with drive and passion, you can also reach your goals too. With each video, I learned how to be steadier with my camera. With each video, I learned how to speak more clearly. With each video, I learned how to smile. With each video, I learned how to tell a better story, how to write a better tutorial. And that's just been with practice and constructive criticism. Uh, speaking of constructive criticism, I've also very slowly uh, started to learn how to um, deal with hateful comments, which I think is a really big deal here on YouTube. It's probably the worst platform for hateful comments, but I've learned to take steps to deal with those and to view them in more of an objective fashion. I think it's helped me become more positive and realize how we need more encouragement, more forgiveness, more uh, support, especially from women to women here online too, especially where everybody's showing their highlight reels. And I think that I have really grown because of this YouTube experience. It's just really amazing. To reach 100,000 subscribers, I know it's just a number, but like I said, it's it's something that I had hoped to achieve, but I wasn't sure if I ever would because I don't have that you know, innate, natural talent for video. So um, to reach it is real, just really awe-inspiring and encouraging for me. It helps me I uh, want to continue to do video here and to continue to teach. Um, it makes me start thinking about other avenues that I should pursue, uh, makes me think about other ways that I can help people and people like me that love to be creative. Yeah, it's just been incredible. It's been amazing. And yes, I will share with you the silver play button. If and when I get that, YouTube has to notify me with a code or something. I haven't got that yet. So uh, once I get do that and get the, the plaque, I'm definitely going to share that with you guys here. Uh, because it is all of ours, it's not just mine. Like I said, I think of this channel as a community and I think uh, that we've built it together. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys subscribing and watching and commenting and encouraging. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. I also wanna thank my husband for uh, encouraging me since I started my blog in 2009 and then the YouTube channel in 2015, encouraging me, uh, you know, even though we have three kids that I can still do all their stuff and so can he. And, He's flexible and I'm flexible. We both work at home and we're both entrepreneurs. So it's been a juggle and, a, and um, there's a couple of years that have been really, really a struggle financially, emotionally, uh, physically. So I just want to thank him, Sean, for um, supporting me throughout that and encouraging me. And I hope we can continue this 
duo entrepreneur juggle together uh, for a really long time. And again, thank you guys, each and every one of you subscribers. There's so many of you that return here to every single video and, and continually comment. And I know that takes time and effort from your side. So I wanna thank you for that. And yeah, that's, I think that's all I have to say. I did write an Instagram post about the 100K that might be a little bit more eloquent than my speaking. So I will link that in the description box below. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see what the next 100,000 subscribers holds here for the channel. And I can't wait to look back in a year from now or five years from now and see how much I've grown from this point to then um, with practice and dedication and hard work and with the support of you. So thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all again in my next video. Thanks so much guys. Bye. Nine, 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 nine. Look. Oh, a hundred. A hundred right thousand. There. Yes, oh my gosh. there we go. Yay. Yay, honey. Oh, there's a lot of <laughs> Oh my gosh. I gotta screenshot this. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>